sirs. Open, sir. I will. Relax, sir. School circle in front of me right now. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I was a drill instructor for three and a half years. Good to go? Yes, sir. It was about six years ago. Got it? Yes, sir. Things have changed, but guess what? It hasn't changed a lot. You understand? Yes, sir. We don't go to recruit training to fail. Got it? Yes, sir. You fail, you give up on yourself, your family, and your recruiter. You understand? Yes, sir. You give up on Arizona. Got it? Yes, sir. The hardest part about boot camp is the first four weeks. See, everything's gonna come fast, in a quick, fast, in a hurry. Sasha ups right now! Push ups! Up there, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there. 452 recruits became Marines underneath me, all right? That's more than, more than the poolies that we have here right now. But guess what? When I was a pooly, I didn't go to many pool functions. I paid for it, you understand? So break your body down before you go to recruit training. So you ain't gonna be in marine shape. They're always gonna push you past your limits of recruit training. That's the job of the drill instructor, right? To push you to your limits and beyond, right? The first four weeks. The crucible you'll be ready for. This is where you take yourself to the next level and that transformation happens. And you're gonna get a total of eight hours of sleep in 52 hours. So not only are you gonna be tired, you're gonna be hungry, right? You're gonna be pissed off at everybody you're working with, right? Now you're gonna walk 12 miles with gear on your back, you understand? Yes, sir! You're gonna go up a mountain called the Grim Reaper, got it? Yes, sir! Once you get to the top, though, you're gonna become a Marine. They're gonna give you the eagle of an anchor, and you're gonna be a freaking Marine. It's like nothing else. So while you're sitting here right now, what that means is we've gone out, we've looked at you, we've talked to you, we've screened you out, and said, we think you have the potential to be one of us. And we hold that honor very, very high. All right, that little EGA you got on each one of your pulley t-shirts, what you earn that in boot camp is tattooed on your soul. And nobody can ever take that away from you except for yourself. Every, every ship week, I get people that show up on my deck, ready to go. They say they, they want to be a Marine, and they barely, they're barely making their pull-ups, crunches for some reason. All right, if you're making that bare minimal requirement physically, go back home, see what you're deficient at. And I need you to work on it. You're about to go try to be one of me. All right, you're trying to be one of these Marines right here. All right, one of y'all is going to be in my battalion. All right, my recruiters, as they go on and go back out to the fleet, you're going to be working with them. All right, that's why we say we look for quality individuals. All right, but if you're deficient in something, we got to see that determination that you want to fix it. Once you earn that EGA, you have it forever. All right, it'll be the greatest thing you ever accomplished. I promise you that. Ah! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.